what's up guys so i am back and um i just finished my client's hair and i want y'all to know i really be reading the comments you know um i came on here yesterday i kind of gave y'all a little bit of a update slash recap of like what's been going on in my life where i've been um how where i was standing in my relationships with everyone as far as like my mom and my booty and even my kids and um you know for the most part the comments were uh really uplifting and really good and i want to thank y'all because like i said yesterday um youtube is kind of like therapy for me it really is um, it was good to see some of my faves uh, come on there and comment. Y'all know I love me some here for hot tea with her crazy, crazy ass. And um, one reason why I do love here for hot tea, because we don't personally know each other, but I feel like we built this camaraderie through YouTube, um, this relationship through YouTube where she is one person who really does keep it real with me no matter what i it i just funny because i was thinking about i think i went live a, a while ago a long time ago and i was saying something i forgot what i was telling y'all but she was like carson let me find out you a narcissist you know and you know but it's just like she she's never really one sided when it comes to me I'm only talking about my life, y'all. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> look, no shame. But no, she. I feel like she always, what, the, whatever I'm talking about at that time, she responds to whatever that situation is at that time. Um, but I really love that girl. She is crazy. Um, uh, all the aunties, um, thank y'all, you know, for coming on here showing me love showing support as usual you know what i'm saying i really do appreciate that like i told y'all youtube really did become like some of y'all became like family for me i do not have a big family i do not have aunties so the the support that i get from y'all when i call y'all auntie like the ones that i call aunties because i don't call everybody auntie now nah. but the ones that i do call auntie the one that i you know frequently talk to or engage uh aunt lori a lot of them i don't even want to start naming aunties because i know if i forget one auntie y'all gonna be like what but um i definitely i'm just so appreciative for y'all um i saw some comments that uh were a little bit i'm not even going to say negative it's really just their opinion um and I actually respect it. Like, I saw one of the comments say, it sounds like you have an unhappy marriage. And, um, you know, I looked at that and I thought about it. And I was like, well, shit, you kind of right. <laughs> it's not always a happy marriage. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I, don't, I, I guess I, I don't take that as a negative comment, I guess, at that time, if that's what I'm talking about. You know, that's what it looks like. And, um, again, like I said, you shit, you, you right. Because it's not always happy. But it's definitely not unhappy either. You get what I'm saying? Like, after, when I talked, when I came, when I made the video yesterday, I had told y'all we had just gotten to a little argument earlier that day. By, like, nighttime, he was sending me these little messages, like, him and the kids found a frog outside, and I'm just laughing, and, you know, he's he he had looked up what does a frog mean when it crosses your path, and, you know, it, it, it actually, hold on, y'all, because my son is calling. One second. All right, my bad. I had to take a quick pause. My baby was calling me, and he had school, so I'm like... Hello, what's wrong? Talking about he need five dollars. Can I cash at him five dollars? So I just sent him five dollars. But anyway, um, so yeah, he had like Googled what that meant and it, it had like a lot a spiritual meaning and it was good luck, all that type of stuff. And you know, those are the things that like really like make me smile or bring me back to like why I love this person in the first place, you know? And 
Um, there was a comment, and I want to thank. So it, it was two different comments that I said I wanted to uh, acknowledge. One comment was a lady on there saying, like, um, Carter, I've been married for uh, 27 years, I think. And she was like, I'm not, I don't always like my husband. Y'all will be all right. What you're going through is perfectly normal. And I really appreciated that because oftentimes when I'm getting, I like to, uh, when I'm getting like advice, I like to consider the source or consider what we have in common or if they have anything that I could look up to or want to be like. So somebody who's been married for 27 plus years, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they they could give me better advice than someone who is not married. Not saying that y'all who aren't married don't have good advice, but there are things that marriages go through that I think... Um, if you told it to a single person, they might be like, run. But when you tell it to someone who understands how a small disagreement could become a big argument, but it's still not serious, but it feels so serious in that moment, why that could bother you so much. And then y'all, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of an emotional person just because I really don't like confrontation. I don't like to argue especially not like with family and definitely not with my husband and not with my boopy. You know, I don't, I don't like where, I don't like any moments where it feels like we're against each other. Like I'm over here about to get emotional right now. So hold on, let me pause. I don't like any moments where it feels like we're ever against each other because I'm never against him. You know what I'm saying? And I know deep down he's never against me. So when we like have those back and forth, it does affect me. It bothers me a lot. Second note that um that I wanted to, I mean, comment that I wanted to acknowledge. Somebody said something along the lines of, they was like, Carl, I'm a Scorpio. And I'm just like that. Like, we be thinking that we are very helpful um, because we love so hard and we're so passionate. And sometimes we come off as pushy. Or bossy. So you might want to consider that when you think that you're being supportive and helpful and helping, you could now she didn't say I was, she said you could be coming off is like pushing, pushy, or you know, your way. And that one, that comment really stuck with me out of all the comments. That comment really stuck with me the most because that was the one thing that I didn't consider. I feel like yesterday I was questioning like what am I doing wrong? I just be trying to be helpful. I'm so supportive, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I never once considered that maybe I'm being, maybe my help, my support comes off more like pushy or do or uh, a, a being, a telling you how to do it. You get what I'm saying? So I really wanted to thank that person who said that because that did give me a different perspective. So I really do appreciate that. Um, but again, though, I embraced all the comments. I don't want y'all to stop commenting. Like, um, I don't want it to be like a, a, a moment where if I disagree with y'all, I'm going to say something. If I disagree, I'm going to address it. But that doesn't mean that I want you to not say it. Because clearly I'm on here telling y'all my business. So I'm opening myself up to whatever scrutiny I get, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? So I embrace it all. Now, there was somebody that just said something random. It was on the video with the twins. Talking about some, it's still a no for me, but something to you and your family. And I was just like, what's the no to you? Like, what? Th this video don't have nothing to do with. It didn't ask you that. I, I, don't, I didn't know what that meant, you know. But I get it. For whatever reason, some people are just not going to like me. And I'm really not here to try to make any of them like me. Um, let me see. Oh, but today, mental health check. 
Today, I am feeling much better. I did my hair today. Y'all see me? I see me with the curls. So I really didn't do it. I really just um added some of those rollers, those big rollers. I put a little, well, I curled it a little bit and then put the big rollers in it. I put me a little makeup on. Y'all can see my makeup. I just was feeling myself today and I was like, you know, I'm going to go live. I'm going to go on it. Well, not live. I'm going to make a video today. I actually just finished my client and I was trying to make content. And my dumb self thought that I pressed record and I never pressed record. So all that I did, I did not get any footage of it. And I'm really heated about that. But it'll be okay. And um, I, I, I wanted to come on here and talk about something. I'm trying to think what it was because it was actually funny. Oh, I wanted to say to ask y'all. Is there, like, something where you can be too positive? Like, is there something where you can be too positive, so much so that, like, you kind of, you kind of, like, overly humble yourself? Or, I don't know, I can't explain it. Because I feel like I get on a lot of people's nerves. Like, my friends, like, I know I'm that friend, right, that you'll come in, you'll be like, man, this happened, that happened, yada, 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 this girl said this, or whatever you complaining about. And I'm like, yeah, but you know what? Maybe, and if we just, you know, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm that person. And I think people be like, Car, no, no. Sometimes I just want to be negative. And... I don't know. I just feel like sometimes I have a hard time doing that. Like, I have a hard time letting people be negative. But I think that I need to learn to, like, relax a little. That it's okay to complain sometimes. And I think that that's part of my problem. Like, I'm such a doer, a mover, a shaker. I'm a, I instantly, this is how my brain works, y'all. There's a problem, right? What's the solution? Like, I'm not a person that just likes to sit up and just keep on talking about, like, oh, such and such. I, I'm not doing that all day. This is the problem. What's the solution to that problem? If there is no solution, there's always a solution. But if there is no solution, then we need to kill the problem. We need to, oh, wait a minute. Not if it's a person. But we need to cut the problem completely if you can't find a solution for it, right? So, um, but I know I used to get on my friends and her, and I think, I honestly feel like that was one of the issues that I have in a lot of my friendships. I think that a lot of people naturally like to talk about their problems. They like to harbor their problems. They like to like wallow with it or something. And I just don't find that productive. And it's like, it's not conducive to growth and I've, I've i've start feeling like a lot of people that i view as my friends they start looking at me as i think i'm better and i don't that's the crazy part i don't think i'm better than anybody i think that if something is wrong i want to fix it instantly if i can or at least start working on a way to fix it. So, I don't know. I just had to get that out of my... Uh, I just had to ask y'all that. Like, is there a such thing as being too positive? Overly positive? Like, is there a time when I should just go ahead and be negative? And y'all know that was one of the hardest parts for me on social... I mean, not on social media, on YouTube. Getting on YouTube. So one of the problems that I was having was I had half of y'all like car F these people, especially here for hot tea. Car F them. Don't let them talk to you crazy. Like cuss them out. And a part of me was like, okay, you know, I wanted to do that because a lot of them was getting real disrespectful at times, different times. Outright disrespect me for no reason. But I was not used to that because here goes the dilemma. 
I'm not used to talking to uh, my elders. Like, if you're older than me, I automatically have a certain level of respect for you just based off the way I was raised. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mom, like, I've always just been that way. Like, I've always been a respectful child. So, it has, you know, it, it, it it's basically, now that I'm an adult, it's still the same way. Like, if you're convincingly older than me, even when you get disrespectful, I more so will try to reason with you before I disrespect you. Um, That was the hardest part for me on YouTube. I, like, people would be like, go at the ass car, don't let them talk. And then the crazy part is, in real life, I naturally can get aggressive fast. Like, I don't tolerate disrespect on no level. Like, I'm definitely not a pushover. So don't let this, like, sweetheart car fool you. I am a sweetheart. I am respectful, but I also demand respect. I actually have the lowest tolerance for disrespect due to the fact that I respect everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really live by that saying, like, I treat the janitor with the same respect I treat the CEO. So, because I'm so respectful, if you disrespect me in any way, it's on. But if you are convincingly older than me, I'm kind of more so like, all right, I'm going to give you a pass. You, you should know better. But maybe you don't. Or maybe this is just how you are. So, I'm going to give you a pass. Um, but that was like the hardest, that was the hardest part for me, uh, being new at that time to YouTube was like, do I match energy? Do I meet them with the same aggression that they're giving me? Do I continue to be positive? And then I, it was so funny because I remember one lady, y'all, <laughs> I'll never forget this, right? Somebody had sent me a video and I, I think I had went to the boy Brayden channel. His name was Brayden. I come on there. I'm being respectful to everybody, right? I'm talking to the lady. She like, yeah, I just don't like you. I don't trust you. You, you something, something. And I'm so I'm just like, okay, you know, I understand it. That's fine. You like, cause I'm, it's like I don't care. Like I'm not about to try to make you like me. I wasn't coming on there for that. If somebody sent it and I was just up like, so I'm like, let me come on and go over there. Man, it was an older lady. She got on there and was like, see, the problem is you want everybody to like you. That's why I don't like your ass. Like, she was like going, and she was so proud. And it was like, even with her doing that, I couldn't find it in me to disrespect her. You get what I'm saying? And she like, I said, she chewed me alive. Well, not really, but in her mind. And then and then it was so funny because I saw her on another person's channel after that. And she was like, yeah, if y'all go look 14 minutes, two seconds, I ate her ass up. I let her have it. And I just was laughing so hard. I was watching her. I said, oh my gosh, she is so proud. And it was hilarious to me because at that moment, I realized like I could have easily easily matched energy you know or met her with that same aggression but it was just like that's really not true to who i am you get what i'm saying that's not how i was raised so it does make it hard but she said something that stood out to me that stuck with me to this day she was like you know you always want you know she, she didn't say you always she was basically saying you want people to like you so bad like you're you're being like I, I felt like she basically felt like I was being fake respectful or fake nice because I want people to like me. So she didn't understand that the way that my mom raised me, like if my mom came on here, she would tell y'all she didn't understand that like everybody is not just like oh if you be like I be wishing like here for hot tea, the way she be going when she be you hoes, I be cracking up. It'd be so funny. And I'd be like, I want to talk like that so bad. <laughs> I want to go in like her so bad sometimes, but I can't. But I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. 
But anyways, so that was my question for today. Is there a such thing as being too positive? Overly positive? And like, should should I get work on that? Like allowing or... I'm not saying being negative sometimes, but when people aren't in their negative moment, to allow them to have that instead of instantly hitting them with all my positivity. And that's the question for today. I'm looking forward to y'all answers. I'm looking forward to y'all comments. I'm definitely going to be reading them because y'all know I read them. Y'all know I'll be responding. I am happy to be back. I'm happy to see everybody. I plan on actually going live soon. And I might be making another video. Um, Talking with my son. Well, ain't nobody. I am making another video. My son said, if I do it, I got to get his hair cut first. This little boy gets on my nerve. Um, But yeah. So, my next video would be the proper punishment for these kids. Because y'all, it's getting out of hand. And I'm not going to talk about it now, but yeah, Josh had got a little bit beside himself. So I do want to discuss that and I want to see like, what did he learn from my punishment? Or do he feel that my punishment was a little bit too much? I really hope that James get on here too, because I feel like James felt my punishment was a little bit too much as well. He, he definitely did not agree with my methods. So that's what I will be talking about next time. See y'all next time. Um, I'm hoping that I can do the next one with James and Josh. We'll see. Y'all know I can't, I can't force them to be on here. Bye, guys. <laughs>